In today's digital world, the spread of fake news has become a pressing concern, especially as information sources multiply and news consumption habits evolve. Tackling misinformation is not just a technical challenge, but a complex interplay of legal, ethical, and societal factors. Approaching the issue of blocking Indian content based on fake news requires a thoughtful, systematic process to ensure both effectiveness and fairness. To begin with, it's essential to start with a clear definition of what constitutes fake news. The term itself is often used interchangeably to describe a range of phenomena from deliberate disinformation, false information shared with the intention to mislead, to misinformation, which is inaccurate information shared without intent to deceive. There are also cases of manipulated media, satirical content that's taken out of context, and biased reporting that may mislead readers. Each of these categories poses unique challenges, and a successful filtering strategy must account for these nuances. Establishing a working definition is the foundational step, as it will shape all subsequent efforts from technical implementation to user transparency. Once the scope is defined, it's important to determine where the filtering will take place. Are you aiming to block content on social media, individual websites, or within a specific app? Each platform presents its own technical landscape and potential limitations. For personal use, browser extensions, and local content filtering tools may be sufficient. For developers building new applications or managing web platforms, more advanced and customizable solutions are necessary. One of the simplest technical solutions is to employ content filtering tools at the browser level. Tools like uBlock Origin and AdGuard are widely used for blocking ads, trackers, and unwanted content. These extensions allow users to customize filters, including blocking specific domains known for disseminating fake news. For example, if certain Indian news domains have been repeatedly flagged by reputable fact-checkers for spreading misinformation, these can be added to a filter list, effectively blocking access at the browser level. BlockSite is another browser extension that enables users to block entire categories of websites, offering a user-friendly interface for personalizing the browsing experience. For those seeking more granular control, custom DNS filtering offers a robust solution. Services like NextDNS and AdGuard DNS allow users to configure filtering rules at the DNS level, which means categories like fake news or a curated list of specific domains can be blocked before a device even attempts to access them. This approach is particularly effective for households or organizations that want to enforce content standards across multiple devices. Users can also maintain their own block list, regularly updating it with new domains as they are identified by fact-checking organizations. If the objective is to build a more sophisticated solution, such as incorporating fake news detection into an app or web platform, Leveraging artificial intelligence and natural language processing becomes essential. AI-based moderation services, including Hive Moderation and Microsoft Content Moderator, provide APIs that can scan text for hallmarks of misinformation. Alternatively, custom machine learning models can be trained on labeled datasets of real and fake news articles using features like exaggeration, bias, logical inconsistency, or sensationalist language. For example, a basic implementation might flag articles containing phrases like shocking, <coughs> breaking, or miracle cure, recognizing these as common markers of dubious content. Over time, models can be refined and improved as more data is collected and analyzed. Of course, technical filters are only as effective as the data that underpin them. This is where reputable fake news databases play a crucial role. Fact-checking organizations such as Alt News, Boom Live, and Factly, all based in India, have established track records for rigorous analysis of misinformation. Global organizations like Snopes and PolitiFact also maintain extensive databases of debunked stories and flagged domains. By integrating data from these sources, whether extracting lists of known fake news domains or accessing article URLs that have been identified as false, 
developers and users can ensure that their filters are both accurate and up-to-date. Cross-referencing multiple databases helps minimize the risk of overblocking legitimate content or missing newly emerging sources of fake news. However, any effort to block content, especially on the basis of fake news, must be guided by careful consideration of legal and ethical implications. Freedom of speech is a cornerstone of democratic societies, and overzealous filtering can quickly slide into censorship. Avoiding blanket bans, especially on entire categories of Indian content, is paramount. Instead, filters should target specific, demonstrably false stories or domains, with mechanisms for review and appeal. Transparency is equally important. Users should be informed about what content is being blocked and why, with clear avenues for feedback or correction. This builds trust and helps prevent the perception that filtering is being used to silence dissenting voices or unpopular opinions. For those building content moderation systems, a thoughtful implementation strategy is essential. A simple keyword matching function may flag obvious examples of fake news, but such solutions are prone to both false positives and negatives. A more robust approach involves training machine learning models on a diverse set of labeled news articles, allowing the system to learn subtle patterns that distinguish genuine reporting from fabricated stories. As the model encounters new data, it can be retrained and fine-tuned, adapting to evolving tactics used by purveyors of misinformation. Developers should also consider incorporating user feedback, enabling flagged content to be reviewed by humans when necessary. At the same time, the process of creating and maintaining a personal fake news block list can be empowering for individual users. By curating a list of domains or sources that have repeatedly been identified as unreliable, users can take proactive steps to protect themselves and their families from misinformation. Collaborating with friends, community groups, or online forums can help keep block lists accurate and current. Leveraging collective vigilance. On a broader scale, education remains a critical component of the fight against fake news. Even the most advanced filtering systems cannot catch every instance of misinformation, particularly as tactics become more sophisticated. Encouraging critical thinking, media literacy, and skepticism among users, especially younger generations, helps build resilience against false narratives. Ultimately, technology disk is only one part of the solution. Informed citizens are the strongest defense against the harms of fake news. It's also worth noting the importance of context and intent. Not every piece of misleading information is malicious, and not every error warrants a block. Satirical content, for example, is meant to entertain or provoke thought, not deceive. Reporting errors may be corrected over time. The goal should be to minimize harm while preserving the free exchange of ideas, a delicate balance that requires ongoing review and adjustment. As you consider building or adopting a fake news filtering system, remember that flexibility and responsiveness are key. The information landscape is constantly shifting, with new sources and stories emerging every day. Regularly reviewing filters, updating block lists, and staying engaged with the work of reputable fact-checkers will help ensure your efforts remain effective and responsible. In conclusion, blocking Indian content based on fake news is a complex challenge that demands a nuanced, multi-layered approach. By clearly defining the scope, leveraging technical tools, integrating trusted data sources, and respecting legal and ethical boundaries. It is possible to build a system that protects users from misinformation while upholding the principles of free expression and transparency. Whether you're an individual seeking personal protection, a developer building new tools, or an organization stewarding a platform, collaboration and ongoing education are essential to navigating the ever-evolving battle against fake news.